In this video, we'll see how we can install Shared CN in a JavaScript React app if we are not using TypeScript. So I'll just create a folder, test Shared CNJS. We'll just open this on VS Code. Now we'll go to the Shared CN website. Here we'll go to Docs, and we have to follow the Vite version. So we'll follow along these instructions. We'll copy this thing. Now, since I've already initialized the folder, I'll just add a dot. So this gets installed in this current directory. Uh, we'll select React, JavaScript, and now we'll run npm install. While this is being installed, I'll just clean up the uh, app folders. App.css we don't need, we'll delete index.css I'll remove these things mm, app also I'll remove I will make a empty uh, component now since uh, npm install uh, ran next will do npm run dev so our local host is running we'll just open this here now okay so this is running so next step is to install tailwind we'll follow these steps i'll open up a, another terminal window here i'll paste this thing after that is done we have to copy this okay now we have to copy these uh, tailwind Im imports on index.css file at top I'll import these things next is to configure our tailwind config.js file here we have to specify these paths I'll search tailwind config.js file here in content we have to replace now once this is done the tailwind uh, should be up and running we'll just try creating a uh, button okay so this is okay uh, for some reasons I don't like the dark theme uh, I'll just uh, make the changes so background should be white and color should be a variant of black let's say 202020 now now we'll follow the next steps next step is to edit the tsconfig.json file so since we are not using the typescript uh, we'll instead of tsconfig.json file we'll create a jsconfig.json file okay now in the this file we'll copy this entire thing now when I paste this thing, you can see some errors. So these things we don't need. We'll just remove these things. Now the error should go. Yeah. After this, the fourth step is uh, to edit the tsconfig.app.json file. Uh, similar to the above step, here also we'll create a new file with JS. Instead of tsconfig.app file, I'll make it jsconfig.app file. Copy the entire thing. now okay now I'll, I'll, op, I'll check the local host just to make sure there are no errors yeah that's fine next step is to update vconfig.ts file so in our case we'll be having a vconfig.js file i'll just copy this thing search for vconfig yes paste this thing now i'll just check localhost again yeah so this is fine now what we can do is we, we can install the chat scene we'll just copy this thing npm okay so here i'll paste this thing yeah i'll go with the you know select anything yes this is fine yeah this is also fine so share this is been, uh, the installation is done now we can check once again here what i'll do is i'll go to our app file 
uh, class name class name I'll just add some CSS okay now uh, we'll install a shared scene component we'll in components we can search for a button here is a button so I'll just copy this NPM this is installed and we can also uh, check in the components folder uh, they have created a button uh, now we'll go ahead and import the button and try using this thing on app itself I'll just import button and I'll copy this variant Middle of this now we can see this is a shared scene button thanks for watching